Hey everyone, Nicole here. I'm just about to start dinner and a lot of you have asked about our camp kitchen setup. So before I get started making our food for tonight, I thought I would just take a walk through here and show you what we got so far. Before I start talking about our camp kitchen, can we just take a minute to appreciate the views we have at this camp spot here? I mean, it is 360 awesome. And we're going to get a sunset tonight. I just can't even. So our camp kitchen is basically four parts. We have the GCI fold-up table here. It folds flat. When we're not using it, we just throw it in the trailer. I've seen some people around the internet, I think it was Reddit specifically, that had some concerns about how much weight this GCI camp kitchen table will hold. And we put these aqua tainers on it, and I think when they're full, they probably weigh about 60 pounds, and we've never had an issue. As long as you put it on a level surface, I mean, it'll... It's pretty sturdy. Another feature of this GCI outdoors camp table we like is this sink. It folds up flat when you put the whole thing away. And it's got this tube in it. And the tube used to have like some sort of drain on the end of it, but food kept getting stuck in it and I got tired of it and I just cut it off and we put it in this little pop-up dish bowl here and take our dirty dish water and dispose of it that way instead and it's worked out so far. We have our Stansport propane stove. We have a rigid toolbox from Home Depot and it's got three compartments and you can buy more if you want. It's a little bit disorganized right now because we've been in and out of here for a couple of days, but these compartments come out and you can use them or not use them and they have little dividers and it'll hold just about anything you want. And these things stack when they're not being used. And we've got an AeroPress for our coffee and plates and bowls and just normal kitchen stuff really not much to it the fourth and final part of the camp kitchen is a waterproof box that we put food in the first time we went camping we were dumb we were really tired and we accidentally left some food out. And Coatamundi's ran off with it. And if you don't know what a Coatamundi is, it's kind of like a raccoon monkey looking thing. A, a what? Somebody lost, their Somebody lost their monkey, yes. They look, they're, I think they're in the raccoon family. They look like a cross between a, a raccoon and a monkey. They're, they're really cool animals, but they probably didn't need to get into my marshmallows and hot dog buns. <laughs> I guess you could say there's five parts to our camp kitchen if you want to count our 12 volt refrigerator. We were cooler people in the beginning just because that's what we had. And I really didn't want to pay $900 for a 12 volt refrigerator. That seemed stupid to me and it didn't really work for my budget, but did some research and I found this uh, set power refrigerator and it's been great. Levi took it on a road trip. We've taken it out camping a couple times and it doesn't take much power and it fits just about anywhere and you can put a lot of stuff in it. And I think I'm a 12 volt fridge convert. It was about, I think $230 when we bought it. So that's, that's not terrible. Saved me a lot of money in ice. This might seem like a lot of stuff to remember, but no worries, I'll create a blog post on our 
website at thedieselapartment.com and list out all this stuff so you've got something to bookmark. If you use our Amazon links, it does support our channel. I just use it to pay for web hosting. I totally get it if you don't want to support Amazon. Just take the list and support your local sporting goods store if that's your thing. I just want to add that none of these videos are about all the stuff we have. You don't need all this stuff to go out and have a good time camping. This did not happen overnight. This is like four or five years of us doing research and getting paychecks and buying a thing and deciding if it works or not. This is more about us showing you things in context while we're actually out camping so you can figure out if it works for you. That's pretty much it for our camp kitchen setup. There's not a lot to it. It changes a lot as our needs change, but we're losing light fast here in Arizona and we're both hungry, so I'm going to stop recording and use the kitchen to make some dinner. And if you have any questions or if I forgot to cover anything because I'm not very good at talking to the camera, just let us know.